Hi guys, I'm just going to show you how to use my fabrics, those transparent ones. So let me get rid of this and I can show you. First, when you buy the set, it's going to be in zip folder. So unzip the folder and here it is, uh, share fabrics and I'm just going to grab one, which I like a lot, just going to drag it. You already have to have image open. As you can see, this image is not from me. This is from Cry Carly Bratton. Studio Evergreen. Thank you, Carly. Let me go and find it again. And I'm just going to grab this one. Just grab it and drop it into it. And I'm just going to change the blending mode to screen. So I see what's going on. It's going to become transparent. And I'm just going to just kind of shape it if I want to in some other way. Um, that one doesn't need it. Click OK. Let me grab another one. I may need it a little bit higher. We'll see. Let me grab the next one to this one. Grabbing, dropping, changing to screen mode. And then I'm going to come here. Now that one doesn't match too much. Um, so right click when I'm in free transform, right click, and I'm going to go warp. So I'm going to just warp it a little bit by whatever I like. And if I don't like it, I may go to liquefy. I'm just going to go to liquefy, okay? So I want this part a little bit lower, so I'm going to go filter and liquefy. And if you want to, you have to have show background if you like it, show background. And you have to remember which one of all the layers you want. And I want background. I know that's background. So if you have a little bit more uh, layers, you have to remember, remember which one. And I think you have to bring the opacity down. And I want to push that part down, okay? That part down, that part up a little bit, making it kind of skinny there. And here we go. Now, that came a little bit too bright, so I'm just going to put a layer mask and I'm going to mask it off a little bit. So I don't recommend you when you have the stars, the sparkles, to reduce the opacity. You can reduce the opacity when you don't have the sparkles. I'll show you with the next fabric. So I'm just going to grab my brush B for my brush. Right click to make sure it is super soft. Bringing it and I have to make it bigger. And I'm going to make 10% uh, opacity somewhere 10. Okay. And making sure I'm with black and kind of reduce that opacity. Again, I don't recommend you reducing opacity over the, the shiny stuff. You can make it darker if you want to. You can do this at a, a layer mask, a, a levels, a just one layer, and clip it to this by clicking here, clip it. And then you can uh, make darker the darks, okay? And that's it. Now it looks good. So after you play with uh, liquefy or uh, warp, you may have some lines appearing like this one. Oh, that's not from me. Sometimes lines may appear, not all the time. Just mark them off if you have any lines, look close. No lines, perfect. So let me grab the other fabric. You can just leave it as it is and it looks perfect. But I'm just going to show you, I want to show you some defects we can get so you know how to fix it. Grabbing this fabric. Now this one you can reduce the opacity as much as you want. Let me go screen and I'm going to go this way. Let me make it bigger and those are my dogs. Sorry about that. And now, now, um, you know, right click and I'm going to go warp. So I'm going to make this one this way, warp it, warp it. And now 
I will probably have line or something. Watch close those lines appear after warping. That looks good. Let me go OK. I like it. No lines again. So I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit. And that looks great. I can do another one. Hopefully those lines are going to come out finally so I can show you. Um, screen again. Right click, flip horizontal. And you can do a few things with this one. You can mask it off or you can you can go and do it in in liquify. So I'm going to agree with this one. I don't like that part, so I'm going to liquify it. So let's go filter and liquify. And I'm going to this time it kind of bothers me, so I'm just going to remove the background and I'm going to so I have to have lines now around this area. Just want to make those lines so I'll show you what you have to fix. They don't appear all the time, but they might. Yeah, here is the line finally. Look at that line. You have to make sure to remove that. Put. It's going to appear only if you uh, do liquefy or warping. Put a layer mask B for your brush. B for your brush. Make sure you're black and 100% opacity. So just watch it close. These lines are going to appear sometimes. I still want them to appear to show you, but command T, edit, free transform. And I have to make it smaller, I think, or just to move it. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, now this went like this because I had to rasterize it. I'm, I just wanted to make that mistake so I can show you. So I'm going to go escape and I'm going to right click here and rasterize that layer. So whatever happened doesn't happen again. Rasterize the layer. Now, if I go free transform, edit free transform, that is not going to happen. Perfect. All wrong happens so I can show you what can happen. Warp again and I can, I can make it fit in this little hole. Here we go. And I'm going to reduce the opacity um, even more. Looks perfect to me. Uh, that's a little too much. And here we go. That's it. Uh, and you can play with these fabrics. You can just drop, drape them around, make them fly, make them around her, uh, mask off whatever you don't like. And that's it. Thank you very much.